dollar bills was odd. They had been crinkled up, and, uh, and I just thought, that's an odd 20, and I felt it, but everything seemed right, and I took it to the bank, counterfeit. <laughs> we had a, that's, and that in my lifetime is the first counterfeit bill I think I've ever touched. Uh, for them to mark money everywhere you go, it's a miracle that it took that long for me to see one. Uh, first hand, but I thought that was kind of awesome. Uh, I mean, it's not awesome that somebody gave us a counterfeit, but it was wild. It was, it was great in its own right. Uh, please don't tie the counterfeit money. They don't accept it, but they do keep it. Uh, anyhow, uh, here's what I know. We don't want to be counterfeit Christians. Amen. Some people are counterfeit Christians. Some just a little funny about them. But they look enough like one and they say that they are one that you think maybe they are. And uh, I'll tell you something about the counterfeit $20 bill I thought was kind of fascinating. You know how you go to the store and they mark it and it leaves that little brown strip? It had several little marks on it that looked like brown strips, so it would look like it had passed the test several times. And when I took it to the bank, they put the thing across it and it didn't change colors. But she still wasn't sure. She took it to another lady and they got her a new ink pen because the pen that she had had run out and they didn't know it. They were just marking them with one that was dead, and then it showed up that it was counterfeit. And uh, and you can you can trick people into thinking that you're right with God, but unless you've been to Calvary and have your sins forgiven, you won't make it to the last day and stand. You will fall. Amen. But my confidence isn't in myself. It's not in works. Uh, it's in the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our church did receive some difficult news this past week about Sister Anderson. And if you haven't heard, uh, when they went to do the surgery on her uh, and they opened her up, she had uh, cancer sprinkled throughout her lower stomach area. And so I did find out it is considered stage four uh, cancer that would have originated in the colon. I guess it was like a colon cancer that spread. Um, on Wednesday, they're going to do another surgery on her uh, because when they opened her up, they didn't end up doing the surgery they went in for. They did other things. So she's going to be going under again on Wednesday, and she needs your prayer. Now, the family's asked that we don't call yet uh, and that we don't visit yet. Now, I've been up there, and I've visited, and I've called, but they've asked that people at large don't because... Um, well, she's undergoing a lot of tests. Her voice is very weak, and she has trouble communicating and just needs some time to process things with the family, and I want us to respect that. Amen? Amen? But when I was up there and I did visit her, one of the first things that she said was that she wanted us to be praying. Yes. And we called the prayer chain yes. so that, uh, that people would start being notified, and I sent out text messages. And if you didn't get a text message... Uh, and you want to get them uh, in the future when there's a prayer request, you see me after service, and i got to get your number, and I'll put it in my phone so I can send you a text as well. And if you don't do that, you see Dottie. She's the one that calls people uh, on the landline. But what, what we want to do is still trust the Lord. Amen? Amen? This is what I know. God's bigger than cancer. Yes. And she could be healed. Yes. But I also know if he doesn't heal her, that he's going to take her to heaven, and that's even better than staying here. Amen. Okay, so whichever way it goes, she's a winner. Yes. And what we have to do is trust the Lord to do what's right. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. So pray that the will of the Lord would be done and trust him. Amen? We trust him. The blood.
our grandkids uh, are struggling with what this could mean. And uh, so I just want us to take a moment at the beginning of our service here and let's just pray for Sister Anderson and for her family. Precious Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would reach down and that you would touch Sister Anderson. Lord, you knew the report of the doctors before we even heard it. And you're still rolling on the throne, O oh God, and you're still in charge. We ask, O oh Lord, that your touch would be there in that room, that you would calm her nerves, O oh Lord, that the fear that she may have would be carried away by your presence, O oh God. And Father, we ask, Lord, that that touch would extend to a healing touch. Hallelujah, Father, that is what we cry out for, but we know, O oh Lord, that you do all things well. And we ask, O oh God, that you would minister in this situation. Show yourself strong, O oh God. Hallelujah, we believe you for great and wonderful things because you're a great and a wonderful God. In Jesus' wonderful name. And everyone said, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Don't give up on praying. Prayer availeth much. Hallelujah. Sister Trevor. Turn to page 173 of our hymnal. Power in the blood. Amen? Power in the blood of the Lamb. Page 173.
I know it was the blood for me, the song says. Yes. One day yeah. upon the cross. Yeah. One day upon the cross. Jesus died upon the cross. Amen. I know it was the blood for me. Our brethren are going to come to, to uh, take our Sunday, Sunday morning tithe and offering. <coughs> While they're coming, we'll turn in our hymnal to, I believe, page 362. Three, page 362. Sister Jack, would you stand this morning and pray over our offering?
hopes of the future, Lord. Knowing that you'll work all things together for our good if we'll just trust you, Lord. Amen. We trust you today, Lord Jesus. Help us. Help us. Sunday, so we will not be having a service tonight. Instead, uh, after the service, we'll be going downstairs for our uh, lunch here, and then afterwards coming up to watch uh, God's Not Dead. Now, um, I have not seen it, but my sister had, and she told me it was incredible. Yes. And I trusted my sister enough to go with what she had to say. And so in lieu of doing special music, which we normally do on a fifth Sunday, we're going to be showing that this afternoon here in the sanctuary. Um, at this time, our children are dismissed to go downstairs for Children's Church. <laughs> 